Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Okay, so the hat may not fit completely, but that's okay. The 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 thought counts here. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be talking about Get Festa with Agora, and I have my favorite person here, Steve Leverance, a guy who wouldn't even talk to me when we first started because he was too shy to be on TV. And now, now Steve, we got you on all the time. Yeah, I've gotten used to it. I'm I think I'm getting doing, better. You are getting better every <laughs> single time, and I appreciate it. Uh, Steve, you are the, uh, well, we were going to put Party Guru under your name, uh, but uh, we, we gave you a better title today. Uh, this event went for, I mean, has been a solid event for many years. As many years as I can remember uh, being here, it's been a great event. And now you've, you're taking it to that next step. Right. So um, Get Festive, this is our sixth year. Um, and uh, for those who will be coming to the event, the Thursday night activities, will, it'll all be the same. Really, it's just going to be more more of the same. Uh, we're adding quite a few things, and uh, um, really, it's a festival for the whole community to enjoy. Yeah, this, uh, this tradition, like no other, I'm stealing that from Steve uh, or uh, Jim Nance. But anyway, uh, December 5th, 6th, and 7th this year, it's a three-day event, 4 to 8 p.m. each day. Uh, what do we got going on this year, uh, all three days? What, do you, what are you going to present us with? So um, in the expansion from one to three days, we've added several new uh, activities. So... The first one is we're going to have a heated, and I emphasize heated, <laughs> Super uh, important. festival tent, which will be um, uh, on the piazza section of the Agora property. And it's uh, going to be a huge tent, and within that tent, uh, we are going to have live music all three days uh, with some great local bands. Uh, we're going to have food options for people. We're going to... Um, have some pop-up shopping. So we worked with basically every everything that you'll see there is all have a local focus. So it's local music, it's local food, it's local um, shopping. Um, but um, in the you know sort of in the expansion of it, we're we're just really we needed a spot to to uh, sort of have everybody congregate in at certain times. And we needed it to be heated because it's just, you know, it is Wisconsin. And uh, we've had uh, times when the wind chill is 15 below and we've had it when it's 50. So you don't know. But um, this tent really allows us to expand the event, expand the options, and make it just that much more um, family-friendly, kid-friendly, anybody-friendly, really, um, community-friendly uh, uh, of an event. So Yeah. Uh, it The... Not only it, not only will you have all this new stuff, but there's still the classic stuff they had mentioned too. That the vendors are or the the retail outlets that are already there um, have the opportunity now to to enjoy three days of of sale. Not that they weren't already doing that, but uh, a kind of an added bonus there too for the vendors True. there. I would say that though, if um, the Thursday will be the the main day if you want to visit the retailers. Those are the days when they have the the uh, sort of the what do you call it? VIP specials, the the, the the one day only type of right. events. So you can go to Need a Relief, and you can um, sample some of the treatments they have there. Um, they also have a great sale on gift certificates. Um, uh, Echo Salon does something very similar to that, uh, where they have um, they carry Aveda products, so it's uh, they have a discount on their Aveda products, which is you know just kind of unheard of. Mm. So and then they do you know scalp massage and hand massage and all those kinds of things that you know people enjoy <laughs> as they're <laughs> as they're going around. But um, you know so we have Valencia Perennial is going to be offering some free classes, so you can give them a you know um, that schedule will be coming out. Well, one thing I should maybe back up and say is that we do have a Facebook page for this event, and things are are. Uh, evolving with the event uh, it, it's kind of such a pace or there's there seems to be more and more getting added to the event as every day goes by every hour <laughs> as a coordinator you're like, oh gosh oh and gosh it's really going to make it the event awesome but if you really want to keep up to date on some of the special things that are going to be happening there's going to be some last minute things that i'm sure are going to come up uh come up on that um, that is where you uh, will find out the latest information as far as certain times and schedules and live performances and, and all that kind of stuff. 
Absolutely. I'm looking at it here now. Um, yeah, make sure you like the page. It's Get Festival with Agora uh, slash uh, Fitchburg Holiday Market and Celebration on Facebook. Uh, it's got everything you need to know there uh, for the event. And uh, something special this year that uh, I'm excited that I had to learn from Scott here is uh, the, a, the souvenir cup for hot mauled wine and beer. And we've got one of those mugs here, Steve. We do. So um, last year... Uh, winter, I went to Chicago and I was inspired by the Christmas market they have in the uh, downtown area there. And uh, one of the things that goes along with the festival that they have there is a commemorative mug. And they charge, uh, you know, a sort of fee for that, but that includes your first glass of wine and then you just go back and get refills out of that mug. So we're, we partnered with um, Little John's Restaurant, which most people here in Fitchburg know Chef Dave from Liliana's and even Oregon. Um, he has Charlie's down there. So this is his latest uh, endeavor and um, a wor uh, you know, very worthy cause uh, as far as uh, a charitable organization. They um, are working to um, train and employ veterans and people with mental disabilities, but also uh, take their product um, that they they actually work with food pantries and a uh, number of food pantries and grocery stores and different things to make sure that things don't go to waste. Which is amazing. Which is amazing. And um, so to that end, um, we partnered with him, and uh, this is going to be hopefully an event that helps him launch this concept that much further. Uh, so... Um, the mug is going to be $15, but that does include your first uh, first fill, so to speak, of beer. Or, uh, <laughs> we're going to have hot mulled wine, which is another sort of uh, staple of these uh, holiday markets. Um, but all the proceeds are benefiting Little John's. They don't. We're not doing this for a profit. We're we're trying to help out the community, and so we're we're featuring them in this event so yeah and it's a pretty cool mug and i'm a mug guy i was telling you that before uh before we started here um it's nicely designed and the uh, designer from the chamber it was Catherine. yeah uh, she did, a she did an amazing job, job. she mm -hmm. did our posters our flyers and and the mug um I'm very pleased with well, the mug. You, I think uh, it's a you, nice, solid mug. <laughs> you had a mug here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll donate directly. but no. <laughs> Give me more incentive to, to come out for it. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, Steve, we appreciate the time. Um, great job pulling this together. And I know you're yep. still uh, still pulling things in. But, so uh, just a couple highlights. If get it in quick. Second. Get so, it in quick. Um, uh, Little John's, Wisconsin Brewing Company, is going to do a launch of a new beer for Little John's. It's going to be called Little John's English Ale. <laughs> And uh, that'll be launching on Friday of the event. And then, um, I forgot what the other main thing. Oh, Bucky. Bucky's going to make an appearance what? on Saturday night around 5. He's only going to be there for an hour, and sometimes he's on time and sometimes he's not. But around 5, Bucky will be there. Well, darn it. So, so we got to be there then. All right, Thursday, uh, starts Thursday, December 5th through Saturday, December 7th. As Steve had mentioned, make sure you go out to the Facebook page uh, where you can get the latest information on uh, all of the great activities. And, yeah, you just uh, you read some of the many different things going on here, which is awesome. And I uh, uh, love the Little John's uh, component into this That's as great. well. It gives an added, a little added extra piece for the holiday uh, when you're looking to donate and stuff. So, Steve... Uh, always a pleasure, and like I said, I think it's become a, kind of a holiday tradition in Fitchburg uh, with uh, Gore, and what a great setting, I mean, to, it has. to come Please out. come down, enjoy it, twinkling lights, carriage rides, many, many things going on throughout the three days. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you so much, Steve, for your time. Appreciate right. it, and we'll see you Thank out you. at the event. Uh, we'll be uh, cheering with the mugs there. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Steve Leverage uh, from Fitchburg Center, appreciate his time. We're going to take a quick break. You are watching Talking Fitchburg.